Good afternoon, everyone. This is Lola King over at Be Kind Botanicals, and today I'm doing yet another live video in an effort to help you guys get to know me a little bit better as not just a owner of a company, but also as a person and an aromatherapist and help give you some more insights as to why it is that I do what I do. And with that being said, I want to say thank you if you have hopped on to join me. I know 1 o'clock Central Standard Time is kind of a funky time, but I also wanted to make sure that I caught everybody when they're on. So I figured, what the heck, why not? So thanks for joining me. And if you're catching the replay, hey, pop in and say hi because you never know. Maybe you have a question or you just want to say hi. Either way, um, today's topic is one of those where it's, you know, what do you know about sellers? You know, are they, are they really there to help you or are they there to help you sell? And with this type of topic, I got to be honest, a lot of people would tend to say that I'm the worst salesperson ever. I, I don't write things very well to get sales. I mean, I, I, my company's small for a reason. I'm not there to push a sale. And the reason why is because I'm not going to sell you essential oils that can make you skinny because you add a drop to your essential oil or to your water rather. I'm not going to sell you essential oils that are going to get rid of eczema because eczema isn't caused by what most people think it is, you know? I'm also not going to sell you essential oils that are going to cure cancer because the research that I have looked at and been following for the last four years, there's nothing within essential oils that cure cancer. I, I, I'm just not going to sell you any essential oils, bottom line, that are going to cure any disease out there and the reason I don't say these kinds of things is because it's all based on myth and twisted pseudoscience that it's just not accurate guys I would much rather give you guys the facts and help educate you and for that reason I feel like I'm more of an educator than a salesperson I mean I'm probably in the wrong business for this because of my training and because of how passionate I am in educating others but I do it because I really want to help people I mean I don't know how many people can appreciate what I'm going to share with you but I can tell you this everything that I'm sharing today is the honest to God truth about my feelings and it doesn't get any more real than this I mean understand this is also gonna be a little bit long and some of the truths that I'm sharing and the myths that I'm going to be talking about, they're, they're not there to hurt anyone's feelings or to make you not want to use essential oils. They're there because they're my truths and I want to share them with you because I think it will give you a better insight to who I am and why I do what I do. The first truth that I'm going to share with you is that I'm not one for fancy marketing spiels and hype. I, I'm just not. I grew up in a podunk town in Oklahoma called Stigler and the town has a population of 2,000 and we keep things about as real and honest as it gets. I mean, people like to make jokes about redneck families and stuff, but I kind of come from one so I can, I can relate to those kinds of people. I'm real, I'm honest and that's what helping people is all about. And when it comes to essential oils, as long as they are pure and I can help you find what will work for you. I don't want to mess with any of those ideals that I have grown up with. I, I don't want to mess with using spiels just to sell a product because selling any product to any person doesn't necessarily help them. You know, and, and using any kind of hype isn't going to help any of my, any of the consumers or clients that I work with on a daily basis to be more educated and feel empowered to use essential oils. Also. I kind of feel like using those kinds of crazy spills is going to create a cult mentality that just it's not going to serve the greater community when it comes to using essential oils and our community is so vast and we already have so much divisiveness that putting those kinds of things out there doesn't help the community at all it just doesn't so I don't do fancy marketing spills and hype my second truth I'm not one to say my company or any other company is better than the rest. 
I'm just not. And the reason why is because this kind of marketing tactic, it doesn't give me the feels. It gives me more of that, I've got to prove my company is better than yours kind of thing. And we all know, those of us that have been in the industry for a long time, that not every single company is going to have an essential oil that you absolutely love the aroma of or that it jives with you. Every company offers something a little different than the other company out there. It's okay to use essential oils for multiple companies. Heck, I do. You know, I mean, that's, that's part of our journey in using essential oils is recognizing that we're all unique and we're not going to find every single thing we need from one specific company. So the third truth, and this is, this is one of those that's more of a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just one of those that drives me crazy to see people sharing unsafe practices regarding essential oils. It, it seriously drives me crazy. And the reason why is because it, it's not just that I care, but I have seen firsthand and heard too many freaking stories out there where babies have been hurt, where adults have been hurt, teenagers have been hurt, elderlies have been hurt because somebody has put out some information whether it's a bad recipe that's not formulated properly or an essential oil blend that is contraindicated with someone's medications or whatnot, this stuff has got to stop, guys. That's not how we should be marketing essential oils. If you wanna share a recipe because you feel like it's uplifting and might help somebody, great, do it. I love it. But don't be giving out bad advice because it works for you. I, I just can't, I can't say it any plainer than that. We've got to really work together to put out good, balanced, and safe usage advice. You know, if you're, if you're putting out on the internet that, hey, it's okay to use XYZ with XYZ condition, you better double check who the audience is. Because if it's somebody that's taking a medication that's gonna have a, a drug interaction with those essential oils that you're saying use XYZ with XYZ condition, you're gonna put yourself in a bad position and you're really going to put the risk for hurting someone way, way up there. Just stop doing it, guys. Let's be a little more cautious about this. The other thing that I find to be a big truth is if you ask me if you can use an essential oil internally, even if it's you know the best company out there in the world i'm not going to give you an easy answer i'm just not and the answer i give you is going to be one that you potentially may not like and there's a million reasons for this guys one of the reasons is because it doesn't while essential oil purity has a lot to play into it there's a lot of different variables. I wrote a blog post on this. I have several colleagues that have written about this. It's not just as simple as putting essential oils in a glass of water. It requires formulation. And, and if you think about it, essential oils and waters don't mix. They just don't. And the proof is out there, guys. If you look at the Atlantic Injury Reports, there are dozens of people that over a long period of time have caused esophageal damage by adding their essential oils to water. Whether it's to prevent getting sick, whether it's to lose weight, whatever, whatever the advice is that they were given, the excuse for doing it, it's just not safe. There's too many variables. And I'm not gonna get into that right now, but you can, you can use them internally, but it requires a whole lot of knowledge. And there are less than two dozen people in the United States that I know of that have that knowledge and that expertise that would be able to even guide you in doing something like that. So the bottom line when it comes to using essential oils and whatnot is that they can be extremely helpful for so many things. Emotionally, physically, and spiritually, essential oils can be wonderful tools to help nourish and soothe us. However, they do have limitations, guys. While I respect an individual's choice to use essential oils however they may want to, 
I'm going to continue to be honest with you guys, my consumers, my clients, my family members, and my friends, because I can't use anything less than factual information when it comes to selling my products. And Nikki's asking a question. How can doTERRA salespeople say that you can put essential oils in water? Because it's information that was passed down from an upline that does not have that training. If you look at essential oils, after you drop them into a glass of water, they sit on the top of the water. They don't mix. There's a lot more formulation that goes on than just putting the water and the essential oils together. What ends up happening because essential oils are what we call aquaphobic, they, they don't mix with water, they're actually lipophilic, meaning they are attracted to fat cells. So if they're attracted to fat cells and you have thrown them in with your water, they're going to attach themselves to the lining of your mouth and the lining of your esophagus all the way down till you get to your stomach and whatever part of the essential oil, whatever chemical constituent makes it that far, has a high chance of being broken down too quickly for it to really make a difference in your system. Like I said, there's so much more that goes on with using essential oils internally than just adding them to your water. There's a lot of formulation, there's a lot of anatomy and physiology, pharmacokinetics and whatnot that go into it. I mean, it's, it's a vast amount of information. So I'm glad you asked the question but please, please, please don't do it. And if you need somebody that can guide you, you know, and you have a serious condition that might warrant using essential oils internally, I can point you in the right direction because I'm not, I'm not the first person that needs to be answering that. And a uh, very good point, Jennifer. Why would you drink lemon essential oil in your water when somebody has just shown you that it's gonna eat through a cup? I mean, it, it's, it's crazy, it is. So I get it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not gonna share bad information with you guys just to sell essential oils. That's really the bottom line when it comes down to this. I am more of an educator than a salesperson. And I, I was raised to be truthful. I was raised to be honest and ethical and everything that I do and with my business, you're gonna find that. You know, if I can help you, I'm gonna help you. If I can point you in the right direction, if it's, for example, even if it's something as small as you're looking for an essential oil or CO2 or something that I don't carry, I'm going to point you in the direction of a company that I do trust, that has those same values as myself and offers those analysis freely to their clients because I think it's important to be very transparent and open with your clients. Um, I also wanted to add here that it's okay to ask questions. I want you guys to ask questions. I want you to interact with me as much as possible. And I want you to feel comfortable doing so. And if you're not comfortable asking questions on a public page, you can message me. And I am going to come to you with the most honest and real answer that I can. Because again, I, it's not just about selling an essential oil for me. It's about really helping people and if I can gain your trust in the process and maybe make you think twice about looking at my company then that to me is worth its weight in gold not not telling somebody that I can cure them with whatever ailment they're suffering from using essential oils that's not how we sell essential oils it's just not it's not an ethical approach so that is my bottom line for today. Know your seller, know what they stand for, and know that you can trust them. And if you, you can't trust them and you can't develop a relationship with them, you know, even, even with the owner of a company, you might wanna ask a few more questions. That's all I'm saying, guys. Know your sellers, know who they are, get to know them, get comfortable with them, and if you're not comfortable with them, move on to another company, it's okay. I mean, like I said before, not every essential oil company is going to offer you everything you need. Hopefully I can do a little bit of that for you. All right, that's it for today's Get to Know Me video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you so much, everybody, for your comments. I really, really, really love that you guys are interacting with me. Please share this video because I really think it's important and speaks to a lot of information that is currently floating out around out there that we really need to work towards getting rid of, for lack of better words. 
thank you again and I will see you guys all tomorrow at the same time. Have a great day.